we are going to be toasting our first toast too. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll this is a very random video. This is how many days remain to? This is like days. some days, nine days. Yeah. Hi. Hi guys. These are my baby girls. I got the flower on my head. <laughs> 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 Favor gave me a <laughs> Favor brought flower back for you. Favor, so I don't deserve flower. I'm going to work on making my um tumbler i got it for 2008 it's little things like this that make me happy Sha. so i'm trying to for 2008 they actually look nice so Esther, no be so. this is the tumblers this is what they look like before i start my project i just want to make something very cutesy for like like bride and groom so when we are doing our wedding toast it's not the regular glass i know that might not mean anything to a lot of people but those are the kind of details i like to pay attention to and right now getting closer to the wedding i'm just thinking lydia focus on what you can control that's my next project after my um bouquet that i did i don't know which video is going on first but give this video a thumbs up right now subscribe to my channel and yeah let's get to making our tumblers so i just cut out a square that would size the top of my glass just so when i'm spray painting it it will protect it and not allow the spray paint get into the drinking glass because we can only wipe this down after this craft we can't really wash it so it's like just wipes and stuff to clean it basically putting tape over the places i want protected trying to make out my pattern then i'll spray paint everything else I'm trying to make my first pattern. I'm using masking tape. I've gotten the shape now and this is what my neckline is going to look like. So basically I'm going to spray paint everything below here white. And then from here up will just be clear glass. I'm just trying to make a V for his tucks. Yeah, then I'll start to make the neck now. So for the neck, instead of making it curved like mine, I'll just make it round. And I'm just going to trace this round now. As round as I possibly can. I have a pretty straight eye, so I can pretty much make sure that I can know that what I'm doing is straight. Like, just by looking at it. But if you don't, then you get a way to mark what you're trying to do. I'm covering the top now with tape just so that spray paint doesn't go in. You're not remember you're not going below this mark. This is how the neck will be um round here and then i've covered it properly so that when we are um, spray painting it we don't risk any paint getting into the cup itself and poisoning the cup for it we i still want to basically make sure that this cup will allow us drink from it for the toast so make sure you seal up your cup nicely okay the next thing that we are going to work on now is our pom-pom things that will add on then we'll go and spray paint and then leave it to dry overnight then add on those stuffs tomorrow just to finish the glass this is a tool i just got two from the market very cheap this was like 300 for this quantity so i've seen people make pom-poms and i'm trying to make two i'll just roll it five times and then tie it up just use regular thread For me, he just wants my like he's attached to me. So, what's standing in our way? Yeah, he's got such power over me, but I try to act cool about it. But what's standing in our way? He doesn't mind at all, he wants my juice like a he does whatever what he feels for nobody but himself. No. I'm, 
I'm done making my pom-poms as you can see I'm going to go ahead and use this um, stuff I got it from one of my Italo jewelry cartons because I don't know where to get a ribbon this size from right now it's navy blue but I'm thinking to spray paint it black but I need to make my tiny cute bow that will sit on my husband's glass can you see so cute so I think I'm not going to cut it I just pulled this one out I'm just going ahead and make it. So this is what the bow looks like right now. It's very cute. And the wire behind it. Don't worry, I'm spray painting everything. So it will probably be all black when I'm done here and the wire. Then I'm going to cut this off. It is so cute. Like a baby bow. It's so cute. So this would be my baby's tuxedo bow thingy. And then I plan to spray paint this thing black and use it as his button. I would have loved to get the all black ones but we couldn't get it. So once I spray paint this black, I'll cut it tiny and use it as his buttons on, on his tuxedo. We're currently outside and we're going to start spray painting right now. But this is the white I'm starting with. So I'm just going to give it like one coat around first. Yeah, carrier. You can't put it on the this thing now, it's too smudge. Hello, rotate. That place already. what the white looks like all spray painted just going to set it aside to get dry groom glass this one is going to be tricky because after we spray paint after we spray paint everything we let it dry and then we peel up this and then cover the rest of the other places do you get Esther so we might not need to peel off everything here so we'll just peel this off and then cover this rest of this place so that we'll spray paint this V eh? white I saw another option to use acrylic paint for this but I don't want to go and spend any money I already have these paints with me so why not use them mm -hmm. this is much better. so this is what the black looks like we're going to let it dry right now hi so it's currently the next day i'm outside it's raining still this morning but i want to kind of do the touch-ups on the glasses to see like i want to look at it yesterday it was very annoying because i spray painted so many layers on the on the glass so many layers of spray so it was not smooth tip if you're using spray paint spray only one or two it's okay don't be like me and go extra trying to make it extra dark or extra opaque that was a mistake i made yesterday and i'm not going to go and buy new glasses because i was tempted to go and buy new sets of glasses so it's like nah so i have this part now to use for his buttons on his tuxedo and this is the bright glass it's just tiny things like down here when it was too much i don't know if you can see when it was too much it was just rough but the good thing is the good thing is that this upper here is quite smooth so i'm just going to focus on that because i'm still going to cover this with like pom-poms anyway yeah so that's why uh, i'm okay with it shall and then this is the black one so the black one for the black one the spray paint somehow is black and silver it does not make sense to me but I don't know somehow it's black and silver if you can get a matte black get it but because of that some of the places it didn't um i might go over it with another coat today though actually let me see just i'll have to wait for it to dry again i went over it with one coat let me see if that will make it look better because the groom doesn't have a lot of things covering his outfit so hopefully that looks good when it's done drying. I'll leave it to dry. Mm. 
This is why you have to cover it, protect the glass from scraping. That is so satisfying. <laughs> Aww. This one didn't form very well, but I'm just using my finger to just clean it out. It doesn't matter because I'm going to put rhinestones over here and then it to cover up this uneven edge. But this side is very nice. It's this other side that is not nice. To be so cute once I'm done with it. for the glasses right now I used the lace trims which I already showed you I just used um, super glue to glue it my camera died so I couldn't show you that but then to finish up this part right here I'm going to put this butterfly clip I got a lot of these clips for my wedding to this to do on my hair so I have a lot I've just taken out the clip I'm just going to place it right there just to seal off you can customize these glasses however you want i'm just going to place that there just to seal it off and then i'll add my pom-poms so this is what my glass looks like i'm going to attach the Pom poms I made. To apply the pom poms now, I'm using super glue still. I'm just going to look for any points, honestly. What? I fall for his eyes when he's staring into mine. Oh, he's bad for me. So what's standing in our way? And he's out of my league, I feel insecure, but I hope this is real, yeah. He doesn't mind at all, he won't mind you a second, he does whatever while he feels like. This is how it looks like, this is the finished look. I'm quite happy with it. My first time ever. I'm just going to hold here and like, how do you hold it now? Clink. Surprisingly, I thought this was going to be harder to do, but it's a lot more easier than my husband's own. This is what the groom's glass looks like as well. This is the finished look of my glass and my husband's glass. His is very simple, very nice, how he likes it. I really like how it turned out and this is what we're going to be toasting our first toast to. 
always let me know what you guys think about it comment down below leave your thoughts in the comments as well did you learn anything let me know i'm going to see you lovelies in my next video do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe as well bye